Hello, students, and welcome to our online open class. In complex and interesting modern design, we will use a chair, a basketball, and a soccer ball as typical case studies. To become more proficient in various sketch editing commands and setting geometric constraints like verticality, collinearity, symmetry, etc., in engineering drawing. Today, I will share with you an interesting modeling case in CAD CAM technology: a chair. Its design feature is the drawing of geometric constraints in engineering drawings, which has more than 30 constraints. If the sketch is not fully constrained, then the design will fail. In the scenario of introducing the fun modeling of a chair, the modeling design of this chair involves creating the main view of the chair, stretching the chair's backrest entity, symmetrically stretching the armrest and titles, and rendering as the customer's designs. Comprising a total of five steps, introducing the task of farm modeling of the chair. The specific operation process is as follows: First, enter the UG model design interface and select the XY plane as the sketch plane. Second, create a sketch to draw the main view of the chair, determine and set dimensions, and apply over 30 geometric constraints like symmetry and verticality to fully constrain it. Then stretch the backrest entity. Third, use the method of symmetric stretching to complete the modern design of the chair's armrest. Fourth, fulfill the rendering of the chair based on the customer's requirements. For detailed operation specifics, please refer to the skill operation. Next, we will complete the modeling design of a chair based on the client's requirements. The chair's modeling design primarily focused on the sketching interface, where there are a total of over 30 constraints. We need to check each one to ensure that every line and outline in the sketch interface is movable. Once all constraints are successfully applied, our sketch creation is considered complete. The only exception is the concentric circle constraint, which has not been utilized. Various constraints such as symmetry, dimension, coincident, vertical, and horizontal constraints have been employed. To proceed, we can click Finish Sketch and enter the solid modeling phase. After completing the sketch, we will start by extruding the backrest. We are using symmetric extrusion. First, select the backrest curve. Then choose symmetric extrusion. Set the symmetric value to 300 millimeters, and for Boolean operation, select none. Then click OK. After confirming, proceed to extrude the armrest. For the armrest extrusion, we are using limit distance extrusion. Set the initial distance to 300 millimeters, and limit the end distance to 315 millimeters. Pick the armrest curve. Perform a Boolean merge after selecting the curve. Then click Apply, and then perform a reverse extrusion. Select the armrest curve again. Choose reverse extrusion, and once more perform a merge. The values remain between 300 and 315, just in a different direction. After this, merge again and click OK. Once the extrusion is complete, you can assign the chair the desired color by pressing Ctrl plus J. On the keyboard, the color options will appear. Select the object, 
then click Color. Choose the preferred color. Click OK, and then click OK. Adjust the color to the previously chosen one. And finally, click OK and OK again. With the color set, hide the sketch and reference by right-clicking and selecting Hide. Alternatively, you can press CTRL plus W to hide them. Now that we have hidden the sketch and reference, The chair is completed, and the operation is finished. In today's class, we use the UG software platform to design a chair. During the design process, the sketching phase uses over 30 geometric constraint commands. The entire process is prone to missing geometric constraints, so it's important to ensure full constraints. You can practice on your own based on the operation demonstration. Carefully understand the method and characteristics of the aforementioned features and apply them in the modeling of other similar products by generalizing and drawing inference from today's lessons. Thank you all for listening.